just getting the net migration figure as 660,000. 606,000, actually. Now, that seems to me to be a lot lower than what's being briefed out uh, um, and been reported in, in recent months. But uh, perhaps that's kind of news management at its best. Talk about figures uh, north of 700,000, almost as much as a million. And then when the actual figure comes out of 606,000 as the net migration figure, still a record, the highest ever net migration figure. Everybody breathes a sigh of relief and thinks, oh, well, that's not too bad. But it's 606,000 people, uh, the size of a small city that arrived in the UK last year. Now, what will be interesting as we delve into these figures is to find out how this breaks down. We know, for instance, that uh, probably the biggest portion of that net migration figure will be foreign student visas. Now, there were, were some figures uh, that reported 470,000 student visas that were issued last year. Um, uh, so we'll just get the actual accurate figure from the Office for National Statistics, because if that figure is true, uh, then it seems odd uh, that with uh, 170,000 people arriving from Ukraine last year because of the war in that country, and then, of course, uh, those who've come across on the points-based work visa system, uh, that it would only be 606,000. So we'll get the breakdown uh, of those figures. On that points-based system, a lot of controversy about that as well, Andrew, because the government decided to lower the criteria to try to fill the gaps uh, in the health and social uh, care sector. In the uh, health service, they were crying out for uh, workers, so that points-based system threshold was lowered so that the salaries uh, were lower, but also the skills required were lower, specifically uh, in the health and care category. Um, and it will be interesting to see actually how many of those uh, came in. You were getting some more figures now. 361,000 Three, student, student visas, so 100,000 short of uh, those figures that we were seeing, provisional figures that were being reported uh, a few weeks back. So uh, 300, and just say that again for me, Tom, 361,000 student visas. Now that is a significant number. There's some indications that about 140 thousand dependents came across as well. So knowing, of course, that this is going to be the highest proportion uh, of arrivals in net, the net migration terms, uh, the government has preempted that with the announcement that they're going to make it much harder for uh, a lot of these foreign students who are coming here to be able to take dependents across as well. That will go some way to making a difference. But when you're talking about 361,000 and people coming uh, to the university sector uh, from overseas in the course of a year. That is an enormous figure. can be explained, uh, I suppose, in part uh, because of COVID. During the COVID uh, year and a half, almost two years, there were very few foreign students who were coming across here because of all the restrictions. So then uh, there was a significant surge once those restrictions were lifted. Let's see, of course, in the year ahead what those figures are. But that is an enormous figure, Andrew.